My name's uh, Jeremy Bradley, and I'm a, a person in long-term recovery. And the uh, Genesis Recovery Kentucky Center Program Coordinator. And uh, I've been here since September 26th of 2016. And uh, I have a lot of responsibilities. I uh, uh, help the peer mentors here in their daily activities, uh, guide and direct phase one community and uh, phase two community. Um, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of, wear a lot of hats. So uh, the uh, Genesis Recovery Kentucky Center is a uh, arcade facility. It is a peer-led, peer-driven, social model recovery program. And it is 100% peer-led. Um, based on the, the principles of Alcoholics Anonymous and uh, our curriculum is recovery dynamics, 12 step based. And it uh, is a program that uh, saved my life. Uh, my sobriety date is May the 7th, 2015. Uh, I woke up in uh, Carter County Detention Center and uh, got assessed. And they sent me through the Department of Corrections to the Great Life Center on June the 11th of 2015. So I've been sober since May the 7th to 15th to current. So almost nine years of continuing sobriety. And it's not only for me to celebrate, but it's, uh, it's not about me. Um, my recovery, when I celebrate, it gives uh, the new person hope that this thing's possible. And uh, it's based off of that. I give them hope and, and uh, just let them know that if they do, what they have to do, then they can they can do anything in the world. It's a big shock from uh, where most of us wind up. Um, usually, um, 60, 60 beds is contracted with the Department of Corrections, so you know, there's some corrections clients here, and most of us have been in and out of trouble our whole life. And when you get to a uh, RK Center, when I got to the Grateful Life Center, uh, everybody was real welcoming and. Uh, real nice and courteous and uh, I wasn't really used to it. I've been in a different environment and the whole principle or, or the whole program was about giving back and helping uh, the new man. And it was kind of overwhelming all the people that surrounded me my first day, asked me if I need anything or if I was doing all right. And, uh, but that's, you know, that's my transition from I went through the whole thing and people was telling me that, that uh, one day I'd, I'd uh, work at the peer mentor's office and I was in disbelief. Uh, I never really had no uh, purpose in life, just doing what I was doing, um, existing really. And they said, you're gonna, you're gonna work at the peer mentor office one of these days. I completed the phase one portion of the program and, and they asked me to, uh, to be a peer mentor and I accepted. And I spent 19 months at the Grateful Life, about nine through the program and 10 in the peer mentor office. And I started from the very bottom rung and uh, by the end I was a peer mentor supervisor. And then of course I, I was asked through my, uh, what I was taught was to give back. So I went to another facility and taught class all the time. And the director of that facility asked me to uh, to be a replication team for a mentor and give me the opportunity to come to from the Great Philosophy Center to Genesis to replicate the RK model. And I accepted. I've been here since September 26th of 16. And uh, I helped replicate this model. And then he asked me, uh, he said, why don't you fill out an application? And I was in doubt again. Uh, I said, when you get my background check, you're probably not going to hire me. And uh, he's a mentor of mine, and he he kept saying that I always had gratitude falling out of my back pockets. Grateful to be here, and grateful to be doing this. And he pushed up his sleeve and scratched his head and looked over his glasses at me. And he said, uh, "Little brother, uh, when did you stop believing in God?" I filled out an application. He hired me. I worked in detox for a couple of years. He come to me. A couple years later, I said, how'd you like to be the phase two coordinator? I said, I don't know. 
and he said, fill out an application. I filled it out and I've been the phase two coordinator uh, for many, many years. And now it's kind of uh, evolved into program coordinator. So I do phase two peer mentor or phase one. And I look out after our peer mentor office and our uh, MC clients as well. I get here and make sure that clients are being seen and met by our peer mentors. I oversee them as they do the daily activity documentation, make sure that classes and meetings are documented, make sure everybody's on the right track. If somebody's having a, uh, a behavioral issue of some sort, uh, I make sure I have a conversation with them and redirect them to a solution of that. I facilitate uh, phase one community, which is a peer it's their peer driven uh, recovery process, therapeutic community, where they hold each other accountable. And uh, I facilitate that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I also facilitate Phase 2 community, which is their accountability system on Thursday nights at 6. Um, I do a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, to be honest, I'd probably be either incarcerated for the rest of my life or uh, be dead. <clears throat> I, w I never, I'd floundered in and out of uh, jails and uh, I've, I've been to counseling, I've, but nobody could ever really tell me what was wrong with me. They always had some hunches and I always try to diagnose some things. And uh, my part was I was never honest about what I was doing because I didn't have any trust in the people because they hadn't been where I'd been. And when I sat down at the Grateful Life Center and they told me to get a sponsor, they told me, you know, suggested the homework, give me homework, and <clears throat> they helped me do the same thing we do here, which is uh, they helped me diagnose a problem. And uh, I didn't have any idea what the problem was, but when another person in recovery sat down in front of me, my sponsor, and explained what was wrong with make perfect sense. So thousands of dollars have been wasted on me for uh, me to sit in a counseling session like this and not tell the truth and uh, countless years of incarceration. And uh, all it took was uh, another person in recovery to tell me to, and help me out of this thing. If it wasn't for the recovery Kentucky model, the 12-step model, I, I probably wouldn't be around anymore. He introduced me to my personal pathway to recovery. Um, it taught me responsibility, uh, discipline, uh, taught me accountability. And Recovery Kentucky and the people that worked in the Recovery Kentucky model from all over the state, I've got many people that I, I know from all over in Recovery Kentucky. They have uh, empowered me and they have encouraged me. And that's what we do here for our residents. So we continue to empower them and encourage them and help them to find a solution to their problem. I'm Brandon Walling. I'm in uh, phase two here at Genesis. Uh, I'm fixing to start working as a peer support specialist at Ramey East Step. Uh, I've been here since uh, December 28th of uh, 2022. And uh, this place has changed my life for real. I don't know, I thought drugs was my problem, but drugs wasn't the problem. It's, uh, I was the problem. I wasn't, I was spiritually sick. I didn't know how to deal with life on life's terms. And this place has given me tools where I can help deal with uh, some of the things life that life throws at you. Got a nudge from a judge. Is uh, that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have come had, it not, had I not gotten in trouble. This was, uh, I never was an option for me. Uh, I didn't have no consequences till later on in life. Uh, I got a trafficking charge, Class C, and uh, started, they offered me 15 years. And at 47, that's a death sentence. So I, something's got to change. And I just started to, uh, I went to a couple of sponsors here, they, and, uh, and I was just getting more depressed. I uh, wanted to leave. Uh, I did leave once. Uh, OD'd three times in a day and a half. I had to go back and sit in jail for three months before they let me come back. And uh, I just wanted something different. 
and I got me a sponsor and just suggestions, taking some daily suggestions from my sponsor brought about change in me. I mean, it was, I, it was crazy how it worked. I just started looking at things differently, started being open, more open-minded about things. And this place is great. I mean, I never thought, I, I never thought that I would still be here and definitely not on my own accord. Uh, I mean, this place is, I learn stuff every day. I bear myself every day. Uh, I finally have a, I finally have family, you know, friends here. Uh, I can go to them with anything. I mean, they just, it's a, their help is unlimited. Uh, the main thing is it'll help me keep myself sober. Uh, I mean, that's, uh, and I like trying to help other guys, you know. Uh, I'm learning to work with sponsees. I've had some trouble with sponsees doing sponsorship, but you know, uh, that's natural, uh, but there'll be one person that I can help. So, I mean, the other ones I've had are just not ready to, to change. And, I mean, it's disappointing, but you know, it helps keep me sober because I can look at their failures and see their wrongs and it keeps me on track, as bad as that sounds. I plan on going to school uh, as, soon as, I, uh, as soon as I get in here and get to work, I'm gonna start getting the ball rolling on the, uh, get my, going to school for social, uh, social work and furthering my, uh, furthering, I don't know how you say it, uh, my career in recovery. I, my long-term goal is to, uh, I plan on getting a job at Pathways because I owe my life to this place. Being honest with yourself, is, uh, it changed my life, it's being honest and just asking questions and working with people. I mean, I don't, everybody, everybody's different. You know, I just you gotta find that one thing and start there and build from it. Uh, well, my judge represent. She was my lawyer to a prior charge I had, and I just would not accept help. I just told her I was not like, gonna quit getting high. Uh, they kept coming at me with plea offers and stuff like that, and I was doing the MCR drug testing, and I failed my first form. She was uh, getting ready to retire. She was not wanting to take us to a jury trial. And I kept, I caught, she went on vacation, I caught her. I was like, I failed my life, uh, my, this other drug test. And I said, but I'll tell you what, I said, if you want to retire soon and uh, get me to plead guilty, I said, if they'll let me have five years unsupervised probation, I'll go ahead and plead guilty. Well, they went for it. And then, I don't know, I thought she was retiring, but then, I hadn't seen her in a couple of years, and I get arrested, and I go to court, and there she is, she's my judge. She would not <laughs> reduce my bond. She was not cutting me any breaks at all. So, and they come at me, it was 15 years, and uh, let me go back to my cell and sit, in it, sit on it for three months, and then they offered me rehab, and I took it. Because that was the only way I was getting out. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want recovery. I just wanted to get out of jail. And. Uh, she knew what she was doing. I mean, I owe her a debt of gratitude. Uh, my name's Corey. Um, I'm a peer mentor supervisor here at Genesis. It's a six to eight month uh, long term treatment program um, here in Grayson, Kentucky. I came here because um, because I knew I had a problem uh, and I. I've had some friends that come through here and some, uh, I know some people that's been through this program and uh, I just wanted to try something different. And I wanted to, I wanted to um, have a normal life. And uh, this place has really helped me with so many different things, it's crazy. I've been here since um, October 21st of 2022 and my time here has been really great I'm really thankful for Genesis um, I had no idea what a long-term recovery soon was like um, I've only heard stories of rehabs and recovery centers and that was while I was in my addiction and I was just totally closed off to the idea of it. And I've never made a better decision in my life than to come to Genesis. 
I've been uh, in the peer mentor's office for 10 months. Uh, March 1st will be 10 months I've been uh, volunteering in the peer mentor's office. That was after I completed the program. Um, I, I'm actually, I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm going to be moving out, but I'm uh, actually going today at three o'clock for an interview for the detox office. To go, to have the opportunity to work in detox seems really natural to me. And uh, I'm just going to take it day by day and see where it goes. The fellowship and the camaraderie here at Genesis is unlike um, anything I've ever experienced in my life. I've done multiple years in prison. I've been on football teams and the fellowship here at Genesis is, it's really unique. The, a lot, you know, a lot of guys going through uh, some really um, trivial points in their life and they're just beat down and with nothing and no, and, and a lot of guys have nowhere to go and no other place than the, to look than their peers here at Genesis, you know? And uh, you really do make some really uh, tight bonds with with your peers here. And um, I've made some of the best friendships that I've ever had in my life here at Genesis because of the program and the, and the fellowship here.